So, check this out, people. I am in Cavite. It's pretty hot today. It's usually hot here in the Philippines, but lately it's been in the hundreds, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 106. You can hear the dogs, the cats, the birds, the roosters in the background, which is a typical thing here in the Philippines. And I am standing in the balcony of my new place. Me and my girlfriend, we moved into a new home in Cavite from Cubao, Quezon City. I, I want to talk to you people about how these Filipinos work, right? We hired a small crew to move our furniture. We hired a truck and three workers, a driver and two two workers, but all three of them moved the furniture now. I live by myself and my girlfriend lived by herself with her children, right? So we both had an apartment each. Her apartment was across the street from mine. And these Filipino workers, these movers, weighed about 130, 140, 140 pounds tops, 5'7". And they moved my apartment first, and then they went across the street and moved my girlfriend's apartment second, right? Three guys. I live on the third floor, and my girlfriend lives on the first floor, but she has a two-story home so that they had to go upstairs and move the furniture from upstairs as well as the furniture downstairs. And so these guys come into my apartment, right? What I did was I had a dresser, which is pretty heavy, and I removed all dresses out of the uh, bureau so that they can take the, uh, the drawers down individually and then take the dresser down afterwards because it'll be a lot easier for them. Instead, one of these guys, just one, came upstairs, wrapped each drawer with tape, picked the dresser up by himself. Now, mind you, again, this guy weighed about 140 pounds tops, 5'7". Picked the dresser up, took it downstairs from the third floor by himself and put it in the truck. While another guy came upstairs, grabbed the couch by himself, put it on his shoulder, carried it three stories down, loaded it up in the truck. Then went to my girlfriend's house and did the same. Now, we were moving from Cubao to Cavite, which is about an hour and a half away. And so we waited for the truck to show up first before we left. And once the truck showed up and the guys began to start moving the furniture from my apartment, that's when we left. By the time we got here, these guys were already here. It took us an hour and a half to get here. These guys, they moved the furniture, stocked the truck from my apartment, then went across the street, did my girl's apartment. Within an hour, they were already finished, already on the road, and already halfway here before we were even halfway here. And when we showed up, they were already here. And then, because we have a three-story home where we live in now, these guys did the same thing. Three men within an hour, maybe even 45 minutes, they unloaded the truck, put everything inside the house, brought things up to the second floor, the third floor, one guy at a time. Not two guys like we do back home in the U.S. where one guy grabs the couch and another guy grabs the other end. No. These guys put the couch on their shoulder brought it in by themselves. The dressers brought them upstairs to the second and third floor by themselves. The beds, the mattresses, all done within an hour. And that's how these guys work here in the Philippines. And you know for how much they did this? For less than $10 a day. Less than $10 each. And then back home we complained. We complain because we don't make enough, because we don't have enough help, because it's just too hard. And so 
it's it's just hard for me to see the way these guys work for such little pay. It's ridiculous, and they don't complain. They do the job. They do the job well, and they do it without complaining. And so my girl and I, or my girl rather, she went to the nearest store and bought some food, prepared some coffee, some cake for them so they can sit down, have a break. And then afterwards, I gave them each 200 pesos a piece, which is half of their day's pay most of the time. Actually, this was more than half of their pay for the job they were doing. And these guys were done from start to finish, two houses, loading the truck, and then unloading the truck into the new house, three houses, they were done within an hour total of loading and unloading, not counting the travel, which of course was another hour to get here. And they got here before we got here and we left before they left. And that's how they do here in the Philippines. People work, they work hard and they do it without complaining. And we back home in the US will make $20 an hour but we complain. We don't have enough help. I can't do this alone. And three guys did this within an hour. Two houses and then unloaded into another three-story home. And this is why I appreciate these people, why I appreciate this country. It's not just beautiful, it's unique. The people are amazing. And so I always recommend that if you're interested in seeing something new, leaving the country, consider the Philippines, consider Thailand, Vietnam, Southeast Asia. I prefer the Philippines. I bought tickets to China, Vietnam, Thailand in the past and never left, simply stayed here in the Philippines. But eventually how to go ahead and travel to both Vietnam and Thailand. So in the end, people, this country is noisy. It's about six in the morning. People are already out. The day starts here at 5 a.m. And that's one of the things that I enjoy is hearing people being out, listening to children play. And I don't appreciate the dogs barking all day and most of the night, but that's something that you will get used to. You get used to hearing people sweeping, listening to music, talking, laughing. You get used to it. That's life. Life is an adventure and we need to live. It's just too quiet back home for me. There was a time when children would play, when children would play their music, would dance, would have fun. And that's something that you don't see back home anymore. So when I wake up to children playing, when I wake up to people cleaning and listening to their music, birds singing, the uh, roosters doing what they do, it's, it's a totally different environment. And again, as you can hear, it's very loud. It's very active, starts at 5 a.m. But after a while, it just becomes part of the norm. So in the end, people, you ever want to travel, consider the Philippines. I guarantee you, you will appreciate it.